Mi objetivo en este split es ir a los playoffs, pero aún queda mucho que mejorar. El anterior split, que éramos nuevos, no sabemos que hubiera nada de esto, tuvimos muchos problemas, tanto con casa como con todo en general, que ahora ya sabemos cómo tenemos que entrenar, cómo tomarnos dos y qué actitud tener. Yo creo que aún nos queda mucho, pero que tenemos posibilidad de llegar a ello. Welcome back to the European League Championship Series. Up next, Giants Gaming taking on the Copenhagen Wolves in a matchup where the head-to-head -head could have big implications towards the end of the split, but we're just in the beginning of the split, <laughs> and we're going to start by taking a look at the lineup on the blue side for Giants in this one. Wurlip, Frederick, Pepinero, Adri, Godfred, and their coach, Lozark. Um, well, it was really nice, actually, to hear Wurlip talk in that uh, video where before Giants were always, okay, we want to stay in the LCS, and he did actually say, we want to make it to playoffs which is, um, well, takes a lot of guts because yesterday wasn't the best start versus Origin right. and basically a little bit more of the same flaws that we had sadly gotten used to from the side of Giants. Yeah, I, it was very much so more of the same from Giants, but I think the one thing to take away is that uh, anything can happen after the first week. First week, last split, Giants picked up two wins, and everyone was thinking, wow, Giants, maybe they're you know, a team to beat here, and it ended up not being the case. Maybe this first loss is a, a, you know, just a, a little bit of a road bump on the way to playoffs. I still think from the way they played, that's not the case. They still have a lot of room to grow. They still need to improve on a lot of things. But certainly, the fact their mentality is focused on the playoffs is an improvement, as you said on last split. Yeah, let's dial in on a little bit more of the specifics of that game yesterday versus Origen. Of course, the LeBlanc pick for Pepinero, kind of outsmarted by the Morgana uh, mm -hmm. flex pick coming out of OG, and he wasn't really able to put his mark down. Yeah, and Giants actually need a, a better fallback plan than just going, uh-oh, we need Pepinero to split push because that's all they seem to be defaulting to once they get behind it's going to work maybe one time out of a handful of games but as of yet it still hasn't worked elements last split didn't work this time didn't work yesterday they need a more diverse uh, set of consistent plays, if that makes sense. And they it need did to win that one game versus Elements in a spectacular fashion, if you remember oh, correctly. <laughs> with, the, with the Baron steal, yeah. yeah that exactly. was, uh, I mean, yeah. they just need an, an essence of consistency about their play, really is what Giants need to improve on. Yeah, we'll see what they can do here. They're up against the Copenhagen Wolves. That team is on the red side for this one with the well-known roster of Youngbuck, Airwax, Soren, Freeze, Unlimited, and their coach, Dentist. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of question marks yesterday. How is Airwax going to do, you know, with no changes to the team, what's going to happen in Airwax? with that Evelyn first pick showed up and showed why they first picked that. Certainly did. And, you know, we've seen a couple of Evelyn games go well on players. Uh, the other side, not so much. Awax, as a player himself, really stepped his game up between spring and summer by the looks of it. But very similarly, Giants went 2-0 last split and Wolves look to maybe do that this split. But I think that one of the biggest things here when you look at the Giants and the Wolves matchup is last split, you'd say, yes, this is definitely looking towards that uh, seventh to ninth spot in the LCS. This time, Copenhagen Wolves, what can they do here? This is a much more open series here than uh, the two close teams that we saw last split. Yeah, indeed, and from the side of the Copenhagen Wolves as well, uh, we have seen a couple of games before as well where they just dominated or did quite good early, but yesterday they just closed out very crisp as well, which is very good for them. We'll see how this goes with things locked and loaded on stage. Let's send it over to Casters for picks and bands. Thank you very much, Shucks and Stress. I've tagged in for Pyra to join Crepo at the cast desk as we jump into Copenhagen Wolves taking on Giants. And Copenhagen Wolves surprised me yesterday. I called them out on the analyst desk saying I didn't think uh, their what? players were going to perform. And then Airwax just stepped up and put me right in my place. Yeah, that's karma for you. They had a <laughs> really, really beautiful early invade to shut down SK Gaming and basically snowballed it from there. Solid play, but we're heading into champs like right now and see if they Repetition from yesterday. 